Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from prettypapercards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. How are you today? Happy Wednesday. Let me just check my computer as I always do my little laptop and make sure that this is working correctly. Um, you just never know, but we always hope it does. Okay, there we go. I can see that we're live. That's a really good thing. And I see that we have a couple of visitors. So welcome, welcome. Tracy, good to see you. Um, good to see you from Connecticut. How's the weather there in Connecticut, Tracy? I hope it's good. Renee, good to see you. Holly, yes, happy Wednesday. Columbus, Ohio. Renee, so tell me what your weather is. It's somewhat better here. Linda, good to see you. Um, it's a little cooler here, not a lot, but it's actually more comfortable, um, which is very nice. It's so nice to have it just a, you know, when it's really hot, I know you guys know, it's just a little bit. Yeah, Tracy, a little cooler than normal. That's good, just a little bit cooler. Cindy Reed, good to see you, Cindy. Um, Linda, yes, Ellie's got her pink bow. You know, I was gonna try to find her um, a little Barbie outfit or make one up, but I just didn't have time today. <laughs> but I think she'd be a pretty cute Barbie, don't you guys think so? I do too. Becky, good to see you from Pennsylvania. Yeah, sunny and cooler. I feel like the whole nation is just a little bit cooler. I can't really speak for the whole nation, but Colleen, good to see you. I mean, at least for the few of um, the few of us that are on here. Thank you, Cindy. Yeah, um, I gave her two treats. One treat uh, to come in so that we could do this. She was playing outside, and the second one to come near me because she was she likes to sleep in the. You enjoy Barbie, good. Um, because she likes to sleep under a wicker chair I have on the other corner of my room and it, it has a tile floor and she likes to likes to sleep there yeah only 85 87 right Linda Brady good to see you cooler in Pennsylvania too I know yeah it really makes a difference just those few degrees um, even this morning we didn't have to have our air conditioner on at the beginning beginning of the day it's on now but we didn't have to have it on for a while, so that was nice. Um, put down prize if you want a prize. Kay, good to see you from North Carolina. Welcome, welcome. So, um, those of us who are demonstrators are all just very excited because we got to pre start pre-ordering today for the new holiday mini. They call it the September to December mini catalog. And we got to place our orders for just, you know, we couldn't get a lot of any one item, but we could get one or two of every item. And it was so much fun. I, I have a whole um, note, page of notebook paper that I ordered. I, I did it, you know, early in the AM, like here in, in California, so we're an hour earlier and it said, Stampin' Up! said it wasn't coming on, that we couldn't order until 3 a.m. Mountain, which would have been 2 a.m. Pacific. But in my experience, I hope I'm not telling a secret, but if I go on what is Midnight Mountain, 11 my time, just shortly after that, um, it's it's on. I think they they kind of want to discourage having a whole slew of people order all at one time when it goes live but I got to order like at 11.02 uh, p.m. last night and I got to go to bed and had my whole order placed and I I paid for a little fast mailing and so it's supposed it's on its way it said it's been shipped but I think I'm looking at Friday or Saturday that's kind of what I'm thinking what are you looking at but it's going to be fun. I ordered actually quite a bit. I ordered, I tried to get one of each designer series paper. They are beautiful this time. Um, really. And so, because I'm going to do a paper share. So if you want a paper share, um, Cindy, yep. 
Um, so if you want, if you're interested in having a designer series paper share, remember me, we can't, um, so we can't really let you even start ordering it till about the last week of August. And then we can order beginning, I want to say it's not until the day after, I don't think the catalog goes live until the day after the Labor Day holiday. I want to say September 5th. Let me check. Yeah, I think it's September 5th. But I got a, I got, I tried to get a package of every designer series paper so that we could all look at it real close before the catalog goes live so that you can see. Yeah, Cindy, the entire mini is, is awesome. It is awesome. <clears throat> and so the minute I get it, I will either do a live or I'll do it on my regular, our regular Facebook live. <coughs> Excuse me. I always start coughing when the air is going. Um, so you're going to get to see everything I get. So there's a beautiful faith set in there called O oh Holy Night. And there is a really cute little gingerbread man set with some other things about mailing. And so I got that too. <coughs> and some other things. So it is going to be totally, totally fun. It's a beautiful catalog. If you need a catalog and you don't have a regular demonstrator, just email me. I'm going to put Ellie down. <coughs> she doesn't like it when I cough anyway. Yes, a couple of really quite a few gorgeous designer series paper. Really, the autumn one is beautiful. Um, there's like the wonder of Christmas or something like that. Very, very beautiful. I can't wait for you to see them. And like I said, I will show you everything as soon as I get it. And it's, I think, one of the best catalogs in quite a long time. Every page was like an ooh and an ah. And I had to really sit down and decide, you know, what I wanted to get because I can get all the designer series papers because I know we're going to do, I'm going to do a paper share, but I can't, I can't buy every stamp set, even though I really want to. Cindy bought lots. Oh yes, there's a polar bear bundle with a polar bear punch. So just a lot to look forward to you guys. And let me just tell you, if you are not a demonstrator right now, you can become one today and order just like me. You can put all that stuff in your starter kit. And I would love to have you on my team. I love all of you that come on my Facebook Lives. And my team is called the Sweet Stampers. Um, if you are not a demonstrator, please become one now. So it's $99 to sign up. You get $125 in Stampin' Up! product for your $99. Your choice of product so you can get, get stuff from the Holiday Mini right now because you're signing up as a demonstrator. And it ships free, which is, I think they say it's a good 20%. Is it 20%? 10%? I don't know. Anyway, it all ships free for your starter kit. And from that point on, you get 20% off everything you buy after the starter kit. So if you, you know, if you want to get all that stuff at a discount, that's why I joined. And I would love to have you on my team. I love you guys. Polly Libby, so happy to see you. Yes, really just great. So a couple of other newsy items. Redeem your July coupons. If you did some shopping in July and you placed an order over $50, you would have been emailed from Stampin' Up! a coupon. And you can use it to shop in August, only August. So be sure you use that. Um, you'll get, it's, each coupon is $5 off your order. So don't forget about those coupons. I'm going to remind you all month because I don't want you to lose you know, that wonderful coupon. And um, Tina Lesson from North Carolina. Um, kit sale. I don't, I don't even have a, a kit right now, but I actually got one the other day and I'm gonna show you some of the kits. Um, because I make so many of my own cards that I design, I usually don't get that many card kits that they have, but I do get kind of the um, um, like the home product things and I'm going to show you this is a kit I got 
that actually my other one I dropped it this is so much fun has anybody gotten this I want to remember what it's called it's kind of like a, it's a magnet board and I want to say it's only $25 and most of them are on sale right now this month and it comes with a white frame and a, a paper that you can put in the back where's let's see yeah over here you can't even hardly see it this is the paper it I know I'm holding it crooked sorry it comes with these cute little um, so you make these little envelope things that you I'll hold it let me um, how is that hooked on there yeah that's there it's on with it comes with these magnet um, clippies and you make this little envelope you get two of them that you can make and I had some for my other kit and then it now I made that uh, B from the ladybug set which you can still get but so I had stuff left for my other one and I put all kinds of things I put events I put my my sweet stampers are over here all their birthdays so I and I still forget their birthdays I'm bad I put the shipping if I want to get you know special fast shipping right here which I did and I put the cost there so I don't forget um, I put the events here and it's even fading because I transferred that and then I have some magnets that I got I don't know if you can still get those magnets supply items and it comes with all the stickers and everything like I put on this one little envelope see how it opens and then you can put little it comes with little cards and stickers and then I just put the cards right in the little envelopes and I put my shopping list my Stampin' Up! shopping list I have so much fun with this and um, like I said I it fell off I was playing around with it and it fell off the wall let me get this back on the wall right here it, it goes right up in here and it fell off and it had well you know what I am going to set this down because I don't want anything to happen to this one until I can do it get it back on the wall correctly but it took a bad fall and fell onto the floor and it part of it broke so I had to get a new one nothing to do with stamping up it was my fault but anyway hi Roz good to see you Holly yes it's very cute it's just the cutest it's called a magnet board and that's one of the kits those are the kind of kits that I actually usually get um, because I love home things there's a wreath kit super cute I got the wreath kit um, so go on there and see what's on sale all month all the month of August the kits are on sale and there's a new kit which I haven't even seen okay we got to get going we got to get started making our project for today so let me turn you down and I mentioned to you guys that I was getting the crafting with you bundle I love this bundle and I don't know why I didn't get it I've seen so many my nose is running out so many cute things made with it and so I just finally got it and it just came the other day so here's a card that I posted on my blog today and what we're gonna do is we are gonna make a a version a similar version but with different colors because what I I made another one that I, I thought okay I won't make this one for live because I already showed it on my blog and so I tried another one I made this one which I think is really cute with a little easel on it and I made a little baby card that says hug inside it goes with sending you a handmade hug and then it says with love um, and this one opens this way but I didn't want to have us make it because what I want to show you the most is these cute little scissors and this thread I made these to match our Stampin' Up! scissors and I want to show you how to do that um, so what we're going to do is make this card in in, di in some different colors because making these scissors is just too much fun I think that's why I got the whole thing is just because of those scissors so let's get started so this is the stamp set it has a basket actually has two baskets it has this basket that's a stamp and here are the here are the dies I haven't even labeled my my car my magnet card yet um, but then it has another so this has is a stamp and it has a coordinating die 
but then it has this cute little die that kind of does some embossing like for a yarn basket so that's what we're going to use here today and then it has some good sentiments yarn a sewing machine paint brushes the easel the flower stamp you guys a stampin up cut and emboss machine is that too cute and flowers and a heart so that's the stamp but the dies are even better because they have the scissors which we're going to use today the thread and you know um, there are two of these threads a little thread holder but I think I oh here's the one that's the embossing of the thread I missed that yesterday that's the embossing of the thread okay and this is the spools and it's got two buttons so there's an outline of all the other stuff right two buttons a heart um, an open heart then two closed hearts stars Oh, there is more of the thread. Oh, here are the other spools. Okay, it's got an embroidery hoop. And then, and I haven't made this yet. This is the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. <laughs> I mean, it is, yes, Ross, it is so cute. Put a brad in the scissors and they, were, they will really open and close. Oh my gosh, you guys are so crazy smart. I didn't know that. Okay, so on this card, what I did is I put a little matte dot on there I for the, um, for the little place where the scissors hook together. I didn't know that you could put a brad and they would open. Oh my gosh. I'll have to go find my brads. I don't have them handy right now. This is why I love having you guys come on here. Robin, good to see you. So that's what we're going to play with today so let's get started and of course we're going to make it pink you know i'm going to make it pink right okay um i'm going to get my um my boho blue mini stamp and cut and emboss machine out because that's what we are going to use so we're going to start with a white card background basic white standard eight and a half by five and a half and let me get my glasses on so i can see what i'm doing here Yes, I'm going to, this is why I got this set, is because there is so much to play with. And plus, for my team, my team of sweet stampers that I have, uh, my demos that are under me, I thought this would make such cute cards, welcome cards and congratulation cards and stuff like that. So, that's another reason I got it, because I think it's cute for stampers. And we are going to use just a little bit of the, just like the other card, we're going to use some of the um, uh, Zucru paper. The, the back side of the Zucru, I know it's hard because the little zoo animals are so cute. But we're going to use some of, the, some of the black and white to be, you know, to help us with the background. So we're going to start out with this piece. I like the black and white dots. Um, and this is four by five and a quarter. And sorry, little animals, we have to cover you up. Okay, we're just going to do this. So that's our card base, and now we're ready to do everything else. Now, on the sample, I watercolored the yellow, the lemon lolly stripes on fluid 100 paper, but I didn't want to take the time to do that today. So I've got a piece of, um, this is from the Delightfully Eclectic, and it's a stripe, but it's going the opposite direction. And so when we get all of our little pieces, parts ready, we're going to put it on like this. Okay. So what we're going to start, we're going to start cutting our, um, all of our little tools. And so the scissors I created with black and, black and silver because I wanted them to match our Stampin' Up! scissors, right? I mean, why not? So let's, let's get started. And here, where did my little scissors die go? Oh my gosh. Oh, here it is. Okay. So what you do to create the scissors in two colors is that you cut, it, cut them twice. And this is this, the little scissor die. It's super cute. Can you see that? So it cuts both pieces at one time both excuse me both sides of the scissors so I'll I'll 
run this one through first. And then um, I'm going to use, with the pink, I'm going to use some Lost Lagoon for our thread on the spools. So I'm going to put this thread, that's the thread, it's embossed. I didn't even notice that yesterday. Let me cut that down. And so I'll cut that at the same time. And I'm going to cut that little basket out of, um, I think this is wild wheat. I think. I think it's wild wheat. I'm not sure. Um, nope, it's pecan pie. Okay, so we've got, we can run all these three through at one time. And then we'll do it another time for the uh, for the black part of the scissors. So we'll just run those little babies through. They are kind of small, so definitely have on your little um, magnifying glasses, your reader glasses. So what I'm going to do is just push all these off and go back again with the scissors. I think that's the only other thing that we need. I think we got everything else because I have some of the spools that I pre-cut. Um, I pre-cut a couple of spools out of the pecan, pecan pie. Alrighty, so scissors on black, basic black card stock. And here we go. Sandy, it's on your list. Yes. Excellent. It should be on everybody's list, I think, because it's just, it, if, and most crafters also do other, um, other crafting things like knit, crochet, um, needlepoint, a lot of things like that. So I think they were very wise to, to do it this way. So let's start putting our little pieces parts together and see just how cute they are. What I'm going to do is go ahead and get out um, this is what it's not exactly the, it's got some glue gun stuff on it but this is a silicone mat and we're going to use this to put our scissors together and some of our other things because some things take little bits of glue so here are the silver parts of the scissors and here are is the black parts and so I kind of studied my Stampin' Up scissors and so the black handles are cut prior to the dot, the little um, screw. But what I noticed is it's kind of interesting because the die itself, and I don't know if you can see it, but it pokes the hole, like you guys were saying, as far as, um, Sandy, you don't draw. Okay, well that's, you do all the other things. That's pretty talented. So. Under the hole, I don't know if you can see it, is a little embossed straight line. And so what I decided to do, because the, the die itself kind of helps us with that, so I'm going to cut on that straight line so these will not be exactly like the um, Stampin' Up! scissors because we're going to have our black part come down and cover the little screw. So I'm going to throw those little bottom parts of the scissors away. And now we've got these two top parts and we're going to get our glue. And this is where you just use a tiny dot of glue. And let's see if I can do it. So let me get them on the right side. So what we're going to do is just adhere the little tops to the silver tops. And let me just see if I can get those tiny, tiny dots. Okay, there's, because I don't like it when it runs out. You know what I mean? When it goops out, just a few tiny dots like that. And then we'll put it right on top of, on the handle part. And then you just move it so you hopefully don't see much. And that looks pretty good. I think that's just a little dot of glue in there. Okay, there's one. Now we're going to do our, our second side. Just tiny, tiny, tiny dots. I think I'm getting a little bit too much on there. 
and then we'll put that right on. And again, just move it about. Oh dear, dear. I did put too much glue. Okay. So we're just going to move it around so hopefully it covers most of the silver part. Kind of like that. Okay, that's not bad. And I'm just going to press down. You still do see a little bit, but I think it's pretty cute. Don't you think that's pretty cute? Okay, and what I'm going to do is set these aside and I'll put them together later when we put, you know, I'll put the one on top of the other later when we put them on the card itself and that way we can make the card we, the way we want. Now here are the little um, pecan pie spools that I pre-cut and here are the little bits of thread. I mean, I can't even believe how tiny these things are. So we're going to, we're pretending that we have Lost Lagoon thread on there. So again, just a little bit of glue and then we put the thread right on top and I'm going to color it in a little bit with my um, Stampin' Blends to see it to see if I can make it look a little more realistic. I don't know if I will, if it'll turn out that way or not, because it looks pretty realistic this way. These things are just so cute. This is why I had to do this with you today, because I just can't resist. They are so darling. Okay, let's see if we can get that. Just moved a little bit. What do you think? Aren't they just the cutest? Yes, says Holly. Yes, they're adorable. Just darling. And again, I'm going to set these over to the side until they dry and then we'll do till we know they're really dry and then we will go ahead and do the um, add the Stampin' Blends. And there's our little basket for our yarn. So now we're going to do a bit of stamping. And here's some scratch paper we are going to oh I forgot we're gonna to have to go through again we're gonna to have to go through the um, stamp and cut and emboss machine because I'm going to stamp the uh, yarn the balls of yarn okay here we go in the lost lagoon isn't that just cute here's what I love look at this do you see how there's a piece of thread and there are knitting needles sticking out of it. I mean, is that not just so cute? I just can't even, I, I just can't get over whoever made this set and these dies. It's just out of control cute. So let's get the yarn. Uh, this I think is the yarn die. Let's put this little guy up here and I'm gonna show you that the die, if I have the right one, I think I do. Even it even gets in the the knitting needles and the little piece of yarn. Isn't that just too cute? To see if I can get it just right here. Okay, I think that's right. Here we go. I mean, I just sat here last night when I first started. Uh, I just, when I first started um, playing with this, and I just could not believe the cuteness factor of this set. I really couldn't. Okay, so now we, we, we've got all of our pieces parts, and let's put our card together. So I think what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna go ahead and angle this, and then we'll put our pieces parts on top after we get it angled. So I'm going, I'm going to angle this I'm not going to adhere this to the base yet. I'm going to angle it from corner to corner, and then I'm going to have this piece go on more straight. Because otherwise you can get a little, you know, kooky if everything's, cur you know, too angled. So what I'm going to do is just put some glue in here. And I'm doing this just for the sake of getting it on the way I want it to be on the, on the black, the darker black piece. Okay, and now we're going to use Stampin' Dimensionals and raise this up. 
So we're just going to put some stamp and dimensionals and we'll get this right on our card. Put these right on top of the little Zoo Crew cuties. <laughs> Marsha, I know. I resisted. I kept resisting. I really did. Okay, so now it's up on dimensionals, and we want to get that pink stripe piece kind of straight. All right, now we can put all of our little pieces parts on, like this, and we've got our little threads, and we've got our yarn piece, and I forgot we need to stamp our, um, we better stamp our sentiment, huh? Okay, let's get our sentiment done, and I'm going to do that in black, because we do have an undertone of black, not in a bad way, <laughs> but with the scissors and the paper and stuff. So we're going to get that stamped and on, just like this. Life is better when you are crafting, when you're crafting, yes, absolutely. And then I'm just going to zip right around this the way I like to and just cut this out. Let's see, that was a little kooky there. Okay. I just like to come in there and just do some fun things. Just cut all the way around it just like this. Just like that. And it's quick really, I think, very, very quick. Because there are no rules, no rhyme or reason for what you're doing. You just get to do, do it whatever way you would like to do it. Okay. So the, the first thing I'm going to do is put my uh, sentiment on, and then we're going to be able to mo move everything else, arrange everything else. Okay. So this is just going to take two little dimensionals, just like this, and we'll get this on the top and then we'll arrange everything else. Okay, and I'm going to try to get that kind of straight with the top so it looks, life is better when you're crafting. Okay, let's, I'm going to glue the um, balls of yarn to the inside of the basket, so that becomes kind of just one piece then like this. I think this is a very cute basket. We could do a lot with that little basket. And I want that little bit of yarn to be sticking out kind of like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, so let's get this guy on. I think even one dimensional will hold this guy. It's good to save your dimensionals. Holly, it's a great sentiment. It really is. And we'll put this, you know what I need to do? I forgot. We are going to put some, I thought it looked kind of cute to put some linen thread under this. So we're just going to make some linen thread kind of crazy like that. And let me get one more dimensional. And then we're just going to have the dimensionals adhere over the linen thread and that'll stick it all together. Okay, so it's not, it's not hard. You just swoop it up like that and put that on. And however it comes out, whoa, well, hmm. now it's all stuck to the linen thread and it doesn't want to stick to the paper. Okay, here we go. We'll just tuck that under a little bit. And there we go. Isn't that cute? And you can just move that around. You know, you don't have to let it worry you. You don't have to be all perfectionist about it. Now, this is where I wanted to leave the scissors um, because it depends kind of how we want to have them, how far open we want them. I like, I kind of wanted them to be the focus of attention here. And I forgot to get, let me grab some mini dimensionals here. Um, Whoops, there's one sticking to my finger. Okay, we'll just go ahead and see if we can put this on the back of this piece. And they actually fit very well, just like that. Let's see. And then this one will go right over there. I'm gonna put some glue. And like you guys said, next time I am definitely going to be, 
did I pull that off? I'm going to be using a brad. That is a fabulous, fabulous idea. Okay, there we go. So now we've got that guy sticking on. And we'll put this little piece right over the, the glue dot, I guess. The glue. Put it a little bit like that. And I'm not going to worry because we're going to put a little gem on top of that. A little matte dot. Okay, now we've got our thread. And let's just take our... This is the dark... Uh, Lost Lagoon, and I just thought I would add a few little, just, you know, that's not even neat, that neat, but just to, it just adds a little bit of dimension, I think. Oh, I like it. Yes, Lost Lagoon twine. What a great idea, Linda. And so we'll just put some of that there. This is the thing. You guys have such great ideas. Okay, and a, and a little mini d dimensional over here. And basically, that's our card. Now let's put on our classic matte dots. And I'm going to put, we could put a white one. Yesterday I used a gray, but we could put white in there in the little circle like that, okay? And then we're going to use some little mini black ones just all around, just for fun. We'll put about three of those. And I think I'm going to try to tuck this little guy back up under there. Kind of like that. What do you think? Pretty cute, huh? And then um, we can go back and um, we can stamp, well, actually, let's just do it now real quick. We'll stamp the um, yarn on the inside, because we like to do that. So we'll put a little, the little yarn with the little thread coming out. Let me show you when you see it just right inside how cute it is. Look at that. Look at that little thread coming out. So cute. And here's our envelope. And we'll just put the yarn down here in the corner of the envelope. Isn't that just the cutest little thing? And, you know, I know, well, that piece popped out, but um, I know that you guys all have crafty friends, and um, you're going to see me making a lot more of these. Okay, let's come up. I hope you like that card, and if you don't have the stamp set, you want to order it, the bundle with the dies, you have to get the dies. Um, definitely, I would love for you to order them from me. Um, I have a link right there for shopping, and I would love for you to do that. Shop with me. I'd love to have you as my customer or as a demonstrator under me on my team, saving money and having a good time. All right, let's give out the prize from last week. Last week we made this cute little um, tea caddy that you can slide little notes in and things, and we made a coordinating card. And so um, that was the prize for this week. And the winner is Bonnie Diebel. Bonnie is uh, generally over on YouTube, and so Bonnie has been um, one of my faithful viewers for quite a long time, so I'm real thankful that she won. So Bonnie, congratulations. I'm very thankful to be able to send these to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this little um, treat holder tea caddy. I'm going to flatten it and put it in an envelope for you so that you'll be able to put it back together with real ease. So I'll get that out to you. All my other gifts were sent out just yesterday. So you should be getting, if you um, were a winner of any of the gifts on Facebook Live, as far as I know, they're all put in the mail. So you should be getting them shortly. And I've got you saw on my face, Facebook page. I'm right in the throes of, of uh, putting everything together to get out the Faith Creations Kit. Um, it'll go out in another day or two. So I'm busy. The room is full of all kinds of stuff. So for next week, the prize is going to be this card and this card. Both cards and envelopes will be the prize for next week. You'll get them as your prize. So um, thank you so much for sticking with me, for joining me for this tutorial. I hope um, if you don't have this set, as a crafter, you need it.
and I am having so much fun. I'll be showing you more about it. So have a wonderful rest of your week, and I'll see you on 